Now is the time, Portomaster. Hey, welcome back Skylander fans. This is Mike with Skylander Nuts and today I'm going to continue my walkthrough of Skylander's Giants. Now we're on to chapter 4 today which is Cutthroat Carnival. We're back with the pirates. You might remember them from the extra bonus level in Skylander's Spyro's Adventure but now they're going to teach us how to play Sky Stones. It's the first time that we get to play Sky Stones in the Skylander series. Now, the, some say the first version of Sky Stones was the best. Some people think yeah, maybe it could be improved on a little bit. But today I'll show you how to play if you don't know and some of the things I think about when I'm playing Sky Stones. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of life in undead areas, I think. So I'm going to start with Shroom Boom here. All right, and I think today's level is going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, it's not as complicated or long or backtracking like the last level was. So let's get it started and talk to Flynn. I'm guessing by the weather we're not too far from our destination. You ready to start heading down? Great, and uh, as long as our engine doesn't take a direct hit from that lightning, we should be fine. again you've been here before i know it's hard to believe Callie, but there are uh, some people in this town who how shall i put this don't like me very much i'll suspend my disbelief but we better play nice because we need their help how about i do the talking permission to come ashore uh, granted to uh... Please excuse the quiet. Uh, when we pirates took over this carnival, we noticed uh, a sudden drop in customers. Hey, haven't I seen you before? Uh, no. No, you must be thinking of someone else, though. I can't imagine who could possibly be this man. Handy! We heard that you're handy at repairing ships, and that's what we need. Uh, help you I can. But I'm not gonna work for free, and your money's no good here. You'll need to pay me in pirate chips. Okay. How do we get these pirate chips? You must win a few rounds of Sky Stones. Something we locals like to play. All right, we are gonna have to win quite a few rounds of Sky Stones, but that's okay. Uh, first thing we want to do, if you want some extra money, is fall off this little ledge here. There we got a little bit. Not a lot, but you know, you might want to do it. Come over here and grab that one. And of course, you can always break these uh, Fortnite looking llamas. They're just pinatas, but Elias likes to call them Fortnite llamas. Thinks they stole the idea from Skylanders now, but that's okay. Uh, he's just going to tell us what we already know. We have to go in here and play Sky Stones. All right, now the first thing we want to do is just skip around the side here. And there's a sort of a hidden door. You see that strong man up there, the little kind of blocks you from seeing this arrow if you go straight to the main part of the ship. So we'll go in here, the janitor's lounge, and uh, grab this treasure chest. There we go. We do need some extra cash. Now look, when you break open things on this level, look, they're like pirate coins. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's a nice little effect. It's level specific. I don't know if all levels do something like that, but this one does. I think it's pretty cool. All throughout the level, 
Your extra gold is actual pirate pieces, I guess. Maybe the pirate chips he was talking about. All right, so we know we need to go over there, but we have to go back up and move this little bridge thing across. And now we can make our way. Now, if you want to get all areas found, we're going to have to go in every house. Uh, just be wary. I've had problems on this level, and some, sometimes all throughout Giants, of not getting all areas found when you've been everywhere. Sometimes it just doesn't pop up, so you kind of have to make sure it does. Horn Plank. There's a treasure chest in there. We can switch to a Giant, or we'll just come back. See this house up here? This house on this level has a bomb in it. Alright, so that opens up our bounce pad that we'll use in a little bit. But for now, we're going to go into this building. The Bastion House. And grab this bomb real quick. Into the other house. And quickly into the wall. There we go. Now we get our treasure chest. Only regular treasure pieces come out of the chest, but that's okay. We can still break plenty of things up for our pirate pieces. Plenty of health on this level too. You'll see me grab lots of pieces I don't need. All right, now I'm back up here. Get the key and it's on to the next area. Armored Chompies still died to the shroom. Actually, they just knocks off their helmet. Snrub's Triangle, a Skylander. I made the terrible mistake of accepting a job here. If I help you, maybe you can take me with you? The bridge is out, which I could only assume is due to that large hole right there. Maybe you could use one of those shipping crates to fill it. Oh, one little armor chompy left over. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Blobbers tells you exactly what you need to do. We can't go that way, so we need this block. Get it moving. Push the block on it. Somebody's super excited to see us for some reason. Didn't Wasn't paying attention earlier, I guess. And now we can push it in the hole. But as you can tell, we're gonna need a key. Oh yeah. I forgot to mention that the gate is locked. And I uh, unfortunately lost the key in a Skystones game over on this island. But maybe you can win it back. Alright, so we'll have to play some Skystones. This is the only part that's a little bit backtracky and stuff, is moving these little ships across and I think there's one elemental area that's really bad with that too all right so let's get rid of these chompies I don't know if those mushrooms are hurting them or just protecting me but there we go boom boom not necessarily the quickest or most strongest Skylander to be attacking with, but he does need some experience, so I use him. Hmm. Alright, now we gotta go in this house. There's no getting around it this time. If it's a key you seek, then you must win it for me in a Skystones game. There in true. 
So this is our first Skystones match, and as you can bet, right, it'll be then. easy. Here we go. This is a stone. Players take turns playing stones on the board. When the board is full, the player with the most stones wins. The other player places a stone first. Spiderlings. Now it's your turn. Play a stone. So there's two ways to think about playing a stone. If I play a stone below the spiderling, I only have one side I have to protect, and that's the left side. So I'm gonna play this guy. Four blades along the edge of your stone means you take the other player's stone. Yep, so I'm gonna take the one stone and hopefully protect myself with one stone on my left. But a two arrow guy will take him. Okay, the spiderling took the other spiderling, and I can take that one back. The only time I can take it back is from above it. So I have two that can do it. Uh, if I use this guy, I'm going to leave an open side. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to use this guy and protect my left side. Okay, that spiderling was unable to take anybody. Now I have, hmm, interesting problem. No matter who I play and where I play, I'm going to have an open side available. Uh, I'm going to play this guy, and I'm going to play him in the middle, leaving two sides available. And that's important because I expect him, I expect to lose him to one of those two sides, then I expect to be able to take him back again. Well done. Spiderlings. Okay, no one took him, so that's good. Now, I can't take the other spiderling, that's too bad. I really can't do anything, so but I'm in control. Drow Archer. I may not have been the best one, but I know he's got a bunch of spiraling, so it doesn't matter. We won six to three. Stone collected. Ooh, and Fuego Chompy. Sever me timbers! But I do mean that literally. Ye won! Well, here be the key and me best skystone. Yahoo! Alright, one thing to remember is. Every time you play somebody in the Sky Stones match and beat them, you'll get a Sky Stone at least the first time you beat them as a reward. Uh, some players, you only get one chance to play, then you can't play them again. So you don't always want to skip a match or else you won't be able to earn that Sky Stone. Uh, here's our scrolls. We can go ahead and grab that. Besides cheap forgeries, there are real treasures to be found in a place known as the Forger's Basement. You just may need to do a little creative remodeling to find them. <laughs> Pretty good hint, I guess. I'm not sure if that's on a different level or if it's on this level, but it does sound like a place I've been before. Forger's Basement, definitely one of the areas that you have to get to find all areas not sure what level yeah. all right now these guys are tough oh shroom boom doing some big damage though 34 yeah massive damage really go one little archer hiding over here oh I guess two little archers hiding over here that's okay that puts the fun in fungus. that's right fun and fungus fungus is not really fun but shroom boom is a you fun you got fungus. my key back here's a sky stone as a token of my thanks 
Though, I guess it would have been more helpful before you played. Stone collected. Mace Major 2. All right. Now we can finally enter this area. Can't stop the shrew. Uh, the promenade. All right, now let's see. We're gonna need a giant here. Well, I don't know if we need a giant. Giants work well here because you have these stones that you can just destroy everybody with. But I'm doing pretty good with Shroom Boom, actually. I'm gonna let him go. Look at that. Three hit, the Goliath throw. It's not bad. Come on, Shroom Boom. these archers only a couple hits the high-powered mushrooms I thought you might be able to use an extra hand here it's gonna take some heavy artillery to blow through that gate looks like that galleon might have all the firepower we need if you're strong enough you can use that chain over there I've also heard that the boatmaster can pull it in too if you can beat him at sky stones All right, so that is a key point. So we could use our giant to pull the ship in, but if you do that, um, the Skystone player guy in here leaves. I don't know exactly when, but maybe, I don't know. He, he just won't be there to beat. So you kind of want to play him in order to move that ship so that you can earn his bonus Skystone if you care about such things. And here's our soul gem for Swarm. We'll give him a little preview here in a minute. B is for Butt Stinger. Connor would like that one. All right, yep, let's preview Swarm. I think the previews in Giants got way shorter than they were in Spyro's Adventure. I, I remember being very disappointed. All right, just like the other one of these places, we want to go around to the other side. I think we have to go up here, though. You can see it bouncing over there. It's a winged sapphire. We just have to fall down and grab it. There we go, another 2% upgrade. And then move this block out of the way so we can run all the way back around. You see we have a hat over there. And I do believe that's an elemental gate, we'll see. Come up here. Yep, they want to be air to get that hat. Just like Undead last level, very lame. Um, not like the life one we played through, a whole bunch of stuff. So let's take off Shroom Boom for the moment and put on Polar Whirlwind. Twists of Fury! She unlocks Throw caution to the wind. our area, <laughs> Whirling Vista, and we can grab the hat. That lampshade hat. I think it, yeah, I think Lias got that. Eh, we're not gonna wear that one. Of course, if you needed any health for your air Skylander, it's a good place to stand. Get your health back. Skylanders of the water element are stronger in this zone. <clears throat> All right, switch our little boat back over, and we can leave this little bonus area. Now it's time to play Sky Stones. Tis a galleon you wish me to pull? Then ye best beat me at Sky Stones. 
Ye best get ready for a battle, matey. I like taking their recommended stones. Roll, Lance Master. All right. Ooh, he placed it in a good spot. So there's no way for me to take that guy. Um, very surprising first move. So what I like to do is kind of the same thing. I'm going to use this guy. And I'm going to control this corner so he can't be taken. Mace Major. All right, now the spiraling is open. Um, I don't have any real good stones to take it with. Both of these guys will have a open side. I don't really like that, but we'll do it. In fuego, chompy. Oh, that's not good. I'm not doing so hot. Now I can't take either of those back. I made some critical mistake in there somewhere. Well, well let's do this and hope Throw I can Archer. take whoever they put on top of them. Spider legs. Well, I didn't put one on top of them, but... Inhuman shield. This is not gonna go so well. Droll, Lance Master. Oh good, they can't take anybody. That was a close one. That was a very strange start. Computer usually doesn't start that well. Stone collected. Alright, I got that stone too. It is a lucky break for you, says I. But I'm good for me word, and we'll pull the ship in. The wind at my back. All right. So now we don't have to pull it in. Okay. We just have to get on and take a little detour up to this side of the galleon. We have another treasure chest. Good amount of treasure for whirlwind there. Follow the trail up here. Up here is the cannon we need to fire. There's a cannon. It'll show us. There's the big lock. Okay, fire away. There we go. Now normally I would say fire it again, make sure there's nothing there, but if it's not going to show you what it's aiming at, it's there's nothing there for you to uh, secretly hit. Alright. Now well, we got to fight some of the spinny guys. Oh wow, whirlwind, what a shot. Getting powerful. This looks like a house you can go in, but you can't. There's no stairs there. Now this, I've seen this glitch where I don't get credit for coming to this section. Hold it right there. If you wish to play with the very best here on Pirate Island, you're gonna need more sky stones. Cause you're not exactly playing with a full deck, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but you may be able to pillage for some more sky stones. We've got a scallywag locked up in our brig who had a pretty fancy deck, as I recall. See, so far, up oh, there it is, pirate prison. Sometimes you don't get credit. All right, now we're gonna switch to our giant. I'm gonna use eyebrow. I think there's an undead section coming up. Did that or I missed it? No, I didn't miss it. Um, we break open this one, not just for the treasure, but look a little bit over left. See, there's a wall out over there. So we're gonna walk that way. Yep. 
And there's something hiding back here. It's our Luckatron wheel. Yellow one for gold. The wheel of wealth. All right. Now, I don't know. You don't have to break this one down, but if you were moving the cannon to shoot these things, you would have to press that trigger to get this to turn. But we have a giant, so we're just bashing through this. Oh, thank you. And say, how about a game now that I'm free? Promise I'll only cheat a little. <laughs> Bully for you. Takes a lot of courage to play the likes of me. All right. Another Sky Stones match. Block squares. No stone may be played on a block square. So they're now starting to introduce slight variations with the boards. All right, now let's see what card do I want to play. Take the Chompy. Well, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What do I want to do? This is again, I don't have an optimal situation here. I have nobody with right. I'll do this guy. He will probably be taken from the top. If not, that'll be lucky. He's taken from the left, better for me, because I can retake him. I can't retake that guy from the left. All right, that's good. Uh, but I still can't take the Chompy from the left, so I'm kind of uh, in trouble with that. So let's see, what can I do? I will play this guy for defense. Troll Lance Master. Blaster Troll. Might be a draw. I want to take somebody from above. So I will play here. Troll Lance Master. Blaster Troll. There we go. Not that I had to, but Mace Major. take this last guy. You win. All right, not too bad. You won! Well, I suppose I should be giving you my real best sky stone. Excellent. Alright, so we got his sky stone. Now we can enter the Arr, next section. You may now enter Pirate Island, but watch your back. It is a dangerous place. Executioner. <laughs> The executioners can be tough. Gonna dodge that throw. Use some uh, eyebrows, fisticuffs. Okay, almost there. Your biggest and best Sky Stones player is just beyond that gate. Gonna need to get that key first. I'll leave that part to you. All right, a lot of stuff to do. Get a key, play Sky Stones, open up this area. There's an undead area around here too. So we'll start going to the right. Lots of uh, enemies over here. Whoa, try to dodge as much as you can. Overall, it's not fast. Definitely dodge the throwing axes. Oh, he knocked out his own guy. That's a good strategy. Hard to hit, though, when he swings because he disappears. Oh, he hit me. Unfortunate, but it's okay. Giants have lots of health. Here's our undead area. We can talk to, uh, what's his name, Bones? I forget. Hey, T-Bone. You know this area used to be a 
real dumb. But I fixed it up. Problem is, I put in this security system to keep the real ghouls out. But now I can't get through myself. But if you want to try, you're welcome to anything you can find. Think there might be a few ghostly goodies in there for you. Yep, we can see a treasure chest and a hat. So unlike the air area, this one's more involved. But a little bit boring. We got these buttons. We're going to hit the left button. Brings that up. Now we got a lot of block pushing back and forth. So this block comes down. Make a little bridge. We got to go all the way around. Up the bridge. Don't hit that button again. And then walk across to hit this button. Okay. Move the block all the way over to the other side. It helps if you don't hit the button first because then you can walk by the block like this and hit the button on your way up. Go. Hit that button. Now we can move the block for the final time. There we go. Finally cross the bridge. A lot of block pushing for something that's pretty simple, I think, to look at. Not a lot of challenge in that one. All right. So we have a giant, we can just bash through this door and get our treasure chest. That's the last one. There we go. Alright, but we're not done in this undead area. We now get to avoid some blades. That's something we've done before. up some bounce pads Gotta wait be patient well almost didn't make that jump wait again uh oh I missed oh I'm in trouble take that damage and that damage. Not being patient anymore. <laughs> Get the extra treasure if you want, or if you have to escape like that. Let's go. There we go. Finally, up to the present. I don't know if it's eye brawl or just what, but it feels so slow to get up here. And I can't apparently mash the button fast enough. There we go. All hats found. All two. That one though has some good armor. But I'm still not gonna wear it. Thank God for the transport back out because I would not have to wanna take my time getting out of there. All right, now we can move this block out of the way. Now don't go straight up there for the sky stone battle. We have some more stuff to find. Even though we do have all the treasure chests. Get this one in the position. Now you just need the key to open that gate. Yep. Callie gets out of the way for us. get another battle. Alright, just one wave. I thought they were going to send us more. Alright. 
I guess we can get the key now. Got it. Now you can open the gate. Yep, but let's go first down here into this house that's open. Um, also, I think I missed something. But we'll go in this house. Oh no, it's in this house. You can kind of see it right there below the, the uh, pinata. There's a button. There we go. Clear out some of the debris. Another good reason to clean out all that debris. And the button unlocks this secret door here. Oh, we can also talk to Ulrich. Excellent. You are just in time. I have deals you absolutely must see. Feast your eyes on these wonderful items. All of them quality. So we can see what he has. He's got a sky stone. A four-sided sky stone. That's pretty good. Um, extra heroic challenge. And some hats. Now I'm not going to waste... Upgrade money on these things right now, but they're here if you want to buy them. I'm not sure if you don't buy them here, if they'll be anywhere else, or if you just have to replay the level to go get it. All right, so let's, as we open that door, let's go now outside and see what's in that hidden door. I think I remember now. One thing we haven't found yet, and that's a legendary treasure. There it is. It's some money too, look at that. A nice legendary treasure. The skull masthead. We can put that on our ship. Alright, I think that's everything. Did we get all, okay, we won't get all areas found to the end. Pretty sure that is everything. Hopefully we get credit for all the different areas. Oh. I waited a while on fire on me. Should be all areas found. Sky well, yep. well, tis a Skylander ye are. Say, you wouldn't know where I could find the likes of a pilot named Flynn, would ye? That horn swaggler owes me five gold pieces. Unless I just take it from ye. Get on me, hearties! Not sure if fighting all these guys is worth five gold pieces. I have plenty. I'd happily just pay them. Five gold pieces. And that execution is pretty dangerous. Don't want to have to fight him just for five gold. Oh, he missed. Alright. Eye brawl. Do it with the eye. Be if I didn't have more guards. Right, more. That's what I expect. The laser them all down. Got the health to waste. I'll just take him on in a on a sprawl. Well, can't blame me for trying, can you? Say, why don't we smooth things over with a fine game of Sky Stones? Here we go, our last game of Sky Stones. Yar! Good to see that earlier misunderstanding is now water under the bridge. This is an elemental square. If you put a stone of a different element on this square, your stone will break and form a block. Mohawk Cyclops. 
Okay, we do have an Infuego Chompy, but not going to do us any good right now. Let's take... Ooh, let's use this guy. I use this guy because he has two open sides, which means he'll probably be taken by the other team, which will leave him open for me to take again. Mace Major. Hmm. Do not want to take him, so I'll do the same thing up here. Droll, Lance Master. Now I'm setting myself up though to get destroyed if he had a stone Fox, like this Cyclops. one, but with a notch on every side. Of course he doesn't, so it's okay. I will use him. Human shield. I could take the Cyclops guy as well, but he's probably gonna block me from doing that. Mohawk Cyclops. No, he didn't. Well, I could take either one, but I will use him. Blaster. To see if they have a fire one or not. Nope, no fire. You win. There we go. Seven to one. That's a pretty good win there. Stone collected. Ye be a fine player, says I. But if you seize that Flynn fella, you tell him that he still owes me. All done, says I. Your ship's engine is repaired and ready for sale. Though I must warn you, I've heard tales of this very vessel before, and it's... Pretty impressive? Yeah, we know. And it's about to get a lot more impressive with Skyland's most amazing pilot. Back at the helm. Boom! Wait a minute! That's where I know you from! You're Captain Flynn! And you once borrowed five gold pieces from me and never gave it back! No, I'm pretty sure that was someone else. <laughs> what am I saying? No one else could possibly be this handsome! Come back here, you swine! See ya! Hey, you forgot me! I was supposed to come with you guys! Remember? Four blobbers left behind again. All right, well, good. We got the enemy goal. We found everything. Got all all areas found. We did everything right this time. So there you have it. All right, let's see if there's a cutscene after this. Excuse me, Master? Not now, Glumshanks. I'm busy. Uh, it's just that, uh, Lord Chaos, uh, now that you're back and we've got this robot, uh, what are we gonna do? It's simple, Glumshanks. Robot! Tell him! Lord Chaos is going to the secret vault of Archean Secrets, which, as everyone knows, you need to be an Archean Conquertron to enter. Or, better yet, an Archean Conquertron! <laughs> Wait, secret vault of secrets? Yes, because inside the vault, there is a map, a map to the lost city of Argus, where Lord Chaos will find the Iron Fist of Argus, which he will use to raise the robot army and then make himself king of all Skylands. Isn't that marvelous? Did you hear that, Glumshanks? King? Although, I prefer Emperor. Got that, robot? Why, of course. Emperor Chaos. And may I say that suits you well. Oh, you may. Think of it. 
Once I have the Iron Fist, all of Skylands will bow down before me. Chaos! Yes, all hail Emperor Chaos. K-A-O-S. This new engine's really humming. We should arrive at the frozen wastelands in no time. Yeah. Who'd have thought pirates would make such good mechanics? Yar! We take great pride in our craftsmanship. Seeing as how you beat me at Sky Stones, I figured you was a worthy opponent and might be interested in a rematch. In fact, you're all invited to come down to me quarters and play me any time you wish. Orders. Looks like our crew just got a little bigger. Oh. All right, yep, every level we're gaining a new person. There's Brock up there offering us arena challenges. Well, let's go in this door and check out our Electron. So we got to somehow find two more. Until then, we have experience and health. And we have two in reserve, a yellow and a red. Uh, experience is good. Let's get rid of health for wealth. Because what better thing to have your Skylander do is get rich and get stronger through experience. So, until the experience is maxed out, then we can switch that out for wealth. But, er, I mean power. Alright, so that's that looks pretty good. Take those bonuses. All right, I think that's it for today. So, there you have it. Chapter 4, um, Pirate on Carnival. <laughs> that's the Cutthroat Carnival, I believe it was called, where we learned to play Sky Stones and met all our pirate friends again. So, pretty good level, I think. It was much more straightforward than the last one. Um, if you don't like Sky Stones, though, it could be a bit of a boring level. Uh, we don't have to play Sky Stones much more after this. I think there's a, basically a character on every level. We'll probably skip those. But to build the best deck you want, you, you would want to play them all, collect those uh, other Sky Stones, and be able to beat everybody you find in the game. So, All right, that wraps it up for today. Thanks for watching. I'll be back again soon with a look at Chapter 5. Um, but for now, just keep watching our videos. Watch the boys play through their... A few chapters ahead of me which is good and perfectly fine they will uh, beat the game before I get these walkthroughs done but that is okay they just kind of you know hurry through it a little bit um, one likes to explore more than the other and it can cause some problems so until next time thanks for watching join me again soon hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you soon